Hey, um, good morning. So, I just sat down to uh, to make a little video for you about the camera, um, the overall quality, and the way it works. Because, as we discussed yesterday about maybe perhaps getting a film developed, I had a really good look around my office and the all the supply boxes, and I haven't got any one twenty millimeter film. And my local development place takes about five to seven days to develop one because they don't do it as often as the 35mm uh, film. So instead of waiting for a couple of days for it to arrive and then another week to, uh, to get it developed, I decided to give you just a hands-on uh, review and talk about the camera, show exactly how it works and that it works. And just give you my two cents, maybe perhaps, about the quality and how how I operate the camera and what to expect from it. So, if you hear some rattling noises in the background, don't mind. Uh, it's the cat playing with something that she shouldn't probably again. But there you go. So that's the camera. That's the whole camera. That's where you find the film up. That's the back where you attach the film back to. So the film back attaches here. That's the little spirit level there. So that's the Hasselblad logo. That's a little spirit level attachment accessory that I'll be giving you for free as well. It's very useful when you're shooting um, just holding the camera in your hand. On the tripod it's easy to get everything aligned perfectly but sometimes when you're out and about this little thing it comes really handy. I know in today's world you can always photoshop the uh, edges right then you know get it straight but back in the day where when they didn't have any any photoshop that was probably very useful as well so that just slides on top. So and that's the body cap. The lens attaches here, as you can see, everything is nice and clear. Um, so let's start with the film back. That's the film back, one of them, you will have two. Um, really easy to operate. So what you have is a little metal plate that protects the film. And then to load the magazine up. All you do is open this little compartment, the film goes in here, and the film back itself pops to the back of the camera as such. Really easy to use, nothing tricky about it. Easy off, so you just use this little button here to open it, and it's off again. And same again, you pop it back on, and it's on. No problems. The lens, let's get the lens out as well. Sorry about the uh, the brightness adjusting. I'm not sure why my camera is doing that, but here we go. The lens with the lens caps, as you can see, perfect quality, nice and shiny. Has been taken apart, fully serviced, everything's fine. The back as well perfectly fine. Uh, what they have done as well is re-lubricated the focus thread. What happens sometimes is the old lubricant gets stiff which means the focus is not so smooth but with this lens they've cleaned everything out and this is really smooth now so you have no problems getting that perfect focus. It's really smooth. Uh, on the lens you yeah, see all the dials this is where you Actually, on the Hasselblad, the camera body doesn't control any of the shutter speeds or the aperture. It's the lens itself. All the mechanism is stored inside the lens, so you can um, you can set the aperture from this side here. That's open, and then you can close it, and then that's the shutter speed as well. So you go from bulb up to five hundred as usual. So nothing new there, everything is working fine. That's where it's closed, that's when it's open. Everything works as it should. And the lens attachment is as normal. All you do is find the little red dot, align it, 
and there you go that's your camera film back body and the lens mounted as well now all you need to do is open the top prism as so as you can see everything is perfectly clean actually what I can do is take this off and show you later how clean it is so it looks nice I'm just looking at the recording now it looks nice and sharp really easy to use this uh, actually the film is already wound up so all you do is you crank the film you remove the metal plate otherwise the camera will not shoot so that protects misfiring you take the plate keep it safe I mean you can buy them again but keep it safe it's nice to have them and you have to have them <laughs> and all you do is press this shutter button here to rewind all you do is crank it from here and again so we can show the um, I'll set it the bulb setting you can see it opens up and it stays open as long as it has to and once you release the shutter it goes back down what happens with a lot of the older cameras when people don't clean it properly is that the aperture blades themselves get a bit sticky and then the timing is not as accurate I mean the bulb stays open too long the lower speeds tend to stick not with this lens it really has been cleaned to perfection uh, Jeff Fairbanks the guy who serviced it is probably one of the most famous Hasselblad uh, service people in the UK he used to work for Hasselblad he's got all the spares he's got the knowledge and it's really good what I will do is I will uh, send you the receipts of the service so you can see exactly how much it cost and what work was done on it so you know exactly that the camera and the lens are perfect working condition um, so yeah as I was saying I'll set it on B so you can see the shutter stays open and now when I release it it closes I mean it's perfect and now all I need to do is wind it up again and then I will set it to one second timer so this means it will stay open for one second and then close, close automatically close mm -hmm. so there we go, again perfect timing. Same with faster speeds, I'll set it to 500 now and it's sharp, Look, listen. Again, perfect. I'll wind it up again. I can change the aperture now and I'll put the shutter speed back to bulb mode so you can see it's staying open. It's perfect. I mean, it, the camera really is in perfect condition. Just looking at the video now and operating the camera again, it makes me want to use it, the camera again. It's it's a shame that I haven't got, had time to use it properly. But here is the camera in perfect working condition. Nothing wrong with it. Fully serviced. All you need to do is buy a couple of rolls of film, stick them in here find something cool to shoot and really go for it. Unfortunately, I don't have any sample uh, images. That would have been really useful. But what I'll do is I'll look online and see if I can find um, sample images of that lens and body combination so you can see what to expect. As you know, any and every photographer has its own style and usually it's not the equipment that dictates what you get out from the camera, but it's the actual person who takes the photos. But with Hasselblad, it really does have some of the unique traits that people are so after. I mean, otherwise the camera would not be so looked after, after from it. I mean, since it was made to the day, people are looking after these cameras and they are using it over and over and over again because you can't really go wrong with it. It really is probably one of the best quality cameras that I've owned even better than my Nikon cameras all the ones the, I have the Nikon F2 titanium model um, it's better than that and the really cool feature is when you have this camera if you want to change something you can you can buy different film backs 
and remove the film backs. You can buy different lenses, change those. You can change the top prism, but the actual camera part, the most important part, always stays the same. So instead of changing all of the equipment that you already own, you can just add bits to it. You can upgrade parts, you can buy different lenses. Um, like I said, I have three lenses and it covers it, all my needs for Hasselblad. Um, next year if you want to add one lens you can do so so it doesn't get that expensive the first initial cost might be more expensive than other cheap ones but it's the best camera to own over long periods of time because most likely you will use this camera without any service for next I don't know probably five or ten years then once you get it serviced it's good again for another ten years and the lenses and the camera body itself, they don't fail, they don't break. The, the, the build quality and the variety of lenses and equipment that you can use with this Hasselblad, it's second to none. It's, it, 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 it honestly is a perfect uh, camera. If I would have more time, I would probably not sell it. Um, only because I know, I know I will buy one again in the future. Probably give it another couple of years and I'm tired of my 35mm camera and I'm going to buy a Hasselblad and then regret that I sold this one. And yeah, I will, I will probably regret it. But given that you want the whole set, I think it goes to the right person at the right time as well because I think you will appreciate it a lot once you, once you start using it and once, once you learn more ways about it, how to use it. It is a very unique camera, so hopefully this little video was useful, hopefully um, you like it, and again, let me know if I can do anything else to help you with the, uh, with the process, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers man, bye.